Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit in the 2007 Audi S4 but this will be the same <laughs> procedure as uh, A4 models cars and uh, Audis with the same type of radio if your car originally came with the CD changer the CD changer in the glove box uh, will be disabled but this car doesn't have a CD changer uh, so you won't be losing any functionalities when you plug in your kit so basically what tools you'll need, you'll need our uh, keys which come with our kit and uh, that's how we're gonna remove the, the radio so these keys have this little notch here so put the keys not all the way in but until this notch just a little bit in so the locks at the back of the radio unlock and they all have to be facing inside and uh, just like that so as you can see I've put them in to that notch and there all these edges are facing outside. So we're gonna just take our fingers underneath and get this radio out. And this is a good idea to remove the keys right now so you don't scratch anything. As you can see we're also putting this towel so when you put the radio down you're not gonna scratch anything. So here in the back of the radio, you have this connection, blue one. This is where our kit gonna go, so we're just gonna unplug this. And uh, we already pre-wired the, the cable for the iPod. And it's, uh, this is the <coughs> hardest part about the installation. So we have the cable here, and it's coming through here. Uh, because this car didn't have a CD changer, there's like this opening here, which we just knocked out with a screwdriver. And then we used the coat hanger and just fished this wire through. Same with the aux cable. So this cable is already here. And then uh, when you get the kit, you have, uh, this is what's gonna go to the back of the radio. And uh, this blue plug is gonna go here. And uh, you also have a ground which you have to connect. Um, but for now, we're just <coughs> for showing uh, to you guys, so we're just gonna put this here instead of what we just took out. Just like that. <coughs> and then the ground for now, for testing, we're just gonna put here, but uh, you definitely have to screw it in to, to one of these screws. And uh, it's a small torque screw. So we're just gonna put it in here. Well, on the other end of our module we have uh, the connection for the iPod and also a connection for the aux cable so we're just gonna demonstrate uh, how everything works with the iPod cable uh, but aux cable is just uh, for volume and, uh, and the kit comes with that cable you don't have to buy anything extra uh, see as I said you have to screw in the ground not just put it here so we're gonna so basically that's it as for putting in the adapter now we're gonna show you how everything works <clears throat> without putting it in fully we're gonna take our <clears throat> iPod or iPhone this is iPhone 4 so when the radio is off it's not gonna charge but uh, we're gonna this car doesn't require keys you can just hold the radio and it's gonna so we're gonna start with the FM. Uh, when you're in your FM mode, we're gonna press the CD button. This car has a six disc changer, so uh, these are the discs that are inside the, the radio. If you press the CD button one more time, this is the mode which you didn't have before. Uh, so disc uh, seven here is gonna be your uh, uh, hybrid, uh, it's the, the, what, the, what we call it is our hybrid mode and uh, in this mode you can switch the songs both uh, from the radio and uh, from the iPod so as you can see I switched the song these are all, you can't see that I'm switching because these are all uh, the same so let's go here as you can see I'm switching the songs from the radio I can also use the steering wheel controls if I just knew how to do it 
For steering wheel controls, your car actually has to be, uh, the key has to be put into ignition. That's why it's not doing that. So, <clears throat> the disc seven is your hybrid mode. Like I said, you can switch songs both from the radio and from the uh, iPhone. Uh, but uh, you have this option to listen to your music by playlist, so uh, CD 8, CD 9, 10, 11, 12, so that's your five playlists that you can listen to. So if you press in on this CD, it locks the iPod, and now you can't switch the songs from here. And uh, basically you fully control it through here. But it's only good for cars that have uh, song display. This car doesn't have song display, so it's uh, not gonna it's not really useful, but if you want to unlock the iPod back again, you just uh, press and come back to CD7 and it unlocks it. And then you can uh, basically choose your playlist and put the iPhone or iPod away. And then just scroll through your radio. That's the whole point. And uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to come back to your CD, you just press one more time and it goes back to your regular CD. And that's uh, pretty much it for for testing it. Uh, make sure you there's enough play, enough play, place to tuck in the module behind the radio. And uh, the most important part is to put in the ground properly and uh, screw it in into one of these even uh, here on top. But we suggest putting it here in the back uh, for the ground. And uh, that's it. After you've done all of that and tested and made, sh made sure that everything plays through all the speakers, now you can, you can enjoy your GTA car kit in your Audi A4, S4 and any Audis with this type of radio. So I hope uh, you liked our video and we'll see you next time.